welcome to Local Rock Talk. This is first very welcome back during pandemic just started. So please welcome Michael of Dutch Boy Blues. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on, Mike. Before the show starts, Let's do moments of silence for Russell A. Riccio, teacher of graphic arts at Whittier Voltec in Haver, Mass. Okay, rest in peace, Mr. Riccio. Rest in peace. <laughs> Now let's get to the questions. You ready? Sure. All right. Number one. When did you start playing guitar? Oh God, that was a long time ago. I think I was in uh, seventh grade. Actually, um, yeah, went to um, Mr. Music over in Alston and bought my first guitar there with um, money that I made uh, from paper roots and all that. And um, yeah, I started playing back then. So, wow, must be playing a long time. Yeah, I stopped for a while, though, because, um, you know, family and work and all that. So I stopped playing for about 25 years or so. And then in 2006, I picked up the guitar again and just started playing again. That's good. Thank you. Okay. Um, what type of music do you play? I do a lot of blues rock, hard rock, you know, a lot of classic rock and stuff. I have a cover band, uh, Boston Pub Rockers. So we um, play mostly up the North Shore, like uh, Revere, Salem, you know, Peabody, around that area there, and, and of course, Boston. Yep, uh, that's good. Yeah, and then my solo stuff is uh, Dutch Boy Blues. I started that about... Um, Maybe three years ago, I opened up uh, for Chris Johnson over at uh, the barn. Oh, yeah? And all that. Um, What's up, Chris Johnson? Yeah. Hi, Chris. She knows who I am. Yeah. And then I um, hung out with the twins and stuff, and it was actually the uh, twins from uh, Flight of Fire. Yep. And they have a band now called uh, Stormstress. Uh, they heard a couple of recordings from, that I made back in high school off a four-track recorder, and suggested that I start recording some of my music and next thing I know I started writing songs again and you know it's been going ever since so that's cool keep playing yeah, trying <laughs> <laughs> this pandemic didn't help much <laughs> yeah I know better go away yeah all right number three what rock bands you like seeing playing Live, local, and nationals. Nationally, I like uh, uh, Bad Company. You know, um, I was a big. I followed the Jay Giles bands for years. They were. Uh, I used to listen to them rehearse over in Alston. They were uh, at a warehouse there called Jim Did Sign Company. Um, locally, I love Liz Bills. Uh, Blind Spot. Stormstress, you know, um, Sons of Lanaris, um, a few other bands and stuff. I can't think of them off the top of my head. <laughs> you know, there's so so much uh, local talent here, it's, and they're really they're all awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, Liz Bills, what's up? Hope you watch this episode soon. <laughs> hey, Liz. Keep rocking. <laughs> 
Okay. Now, this is a different question. What do you think of my local rock talk display bike for the show? Bike is awesome. Love it. It's really cool. Yeah. That was my old bike. Yeah. It's a Clean Rivers project. Is that? Yep. I know nice. someone named Rocky. Rocky, he, yeah. Him and his crew made that for me. Nice. So I started to support them, stuff like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Love the amp. Yeah, so now, cool. now it's a display for my show. Yeah, very cool. Here is the video of reveal of local rock talk bike display. Roll it. Hey, Paul. Hey, we're here. We're here today because Paul reached out to us about his bike, and he's he's done so many miles on that bike, and gave so so much back to the community that we wanted to give back to him. So when he reached out to us, said, would you do something with our bike? And I said, yes. And of course the guys behind me were a big part of this, putting this build together, painting the bike, taking it apart. And uh, you want to say anything about how you reached out to me? Yeah, I left the post on the Facebook. I said, I said, I wish that I could have a local rock talk bike for my show. Then next thing you know, I then rock it talk to me. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know it's it's an amazing. It was a great project. It was a really good project. A lot of a lot of people came together. The guys came together, and uh, you know you'll see the bike. And uh, you know I, I don't want to talk much until you see it, but uh, it's a really cool bike. And we get some, after we're done revealing, we can talk a little bit about that bike. Buddy, ready? You ready for your bike? Yep. All right, here it is. Whoa! There's your bike. Oh, wow! Isn't that awesome? Beautiful. You know, you you wanted a rock out bike. There's your rock out bike, guitar and all. You know. Wow, I like that. The, the custom, the custom box, box is all custom on it. You know. Oh. And uh, wow. the guitar actually works. It's a real guitar and all of that. Well, anyways, that's a cool bike. I love it. And it's rock go on. Okay, I know that video was awesome. Nice. Are you gonna be making more albums? Yes, actually, um, during the pandemic, I released nine singles. That was between 2019 and 2020, um, into 2021. I also have a, an album coming out with, where I actually have the girls on there, uh, the twins from Stormstress and uh, Chris Johnson, actually. And um, So hopefully that album will be coming out in a few months. Um, not sure exactly when I got to check with Chris on that, you know. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we released a few music videos also during the pandemic. Um, you can find that on YouTube. It should be under uh, Dutch Boy Blues. And Chris will put me on Spotify and all those other uh, music media things. <laughs> so That's good. Yeah. But that comes out, you know me. Nice. <laughs> I want one. So that's the um Yes, I brought that C D for you. That's I released the nine singles and a lot of people complain about it just being one song on the C D and stuff. So yeah. uh Chris actually put it onto like uh, put all nine songs onto one. So 
you know. But the ones, the single ones that you gave me, I never opened and listened to. Yeah. Well, guess what? Nice. Not gonna listen to it this way. There you go. Here's the CD. Yeah, she did a great job on that. Yep. So support him. Thank you. And thanks for the CD. Anytime. All right. Um, we can skip the merch pot. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, are you going to do a you know, tour with fans soon? Um, I got a couple of shows coming up with the Boston Pub Rock. Is, uh, we're doing a benefit for uh, ALS in June. I believe it's June 11th. Um, that'll be at the um, American Legions up in uh, Manchester by the sea. Um, it's a motorcycle run and all that. And uh, we're going to have people from all over the country actually showing up to that. So it should be a really good gig. It's open to the public, you know, anyone could show and stuff. And um, it'd be a good ride, too, if you ride a motorcycle, you know. Like you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to support it, if you have a motorcycle. Yeah. And as far as the Dutch Boy Blues stuff, um, I got a couple things in the works right now, but um, I'll have to get back to you on the dates on, on those shows, you know. All right. Um, All right. I have one last question. Okay. What songs do you have on your mind that you are going to play? Um, I think it may be uh, World of Forgotten. Um, I don't even know the names of my own songs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't care. Those were two songs that I actually wrote back in high school, uh, junior high and stuff, and then I got up on stage. It's a girl uh, song about the girls from uh, Flight of Fire when I first met them, and um, a couple of other ones. So, all right. Okay, now you can play your songs. Thank you, love to. Thank you for watching Local Rock Talk, and please be safe out there with this COVID-19 door pandemic. Wash your hands, stay away from others. See you next time on Local Rock Talk. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks for coming on, Michael. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dutch. Uh, this song is called uh, World Forgotten. Just can't help.
Something I just wrote uh, back in 2019, actually.
tell me I'm old fashioned, you say I'm cruel. But I was meant to be broken, never meant to be true. Break the chains, kick out the door. Good to be free, commit no more. Next one's called uh, My Heart's Racing. This one's called uh, Walk With Me. I wrote this back in uh, July of 2019.
real not that bad You tell me that you love it They run away so fast called up on stage. It's actually a song I wrote when I first met the girls from Flight of Fire. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's cool hanging out with them and stuff, and this song just came up, so.